Osnabrück is distinguished by offering an outstanding quality of life. Its wonderful historical old town and the attractive and diverse range of cultural offerings are worth a visit. The large number of fascinating cultural venues, such as museums, theatres and cultural centres, not only offer high quality entertainment, but are also special in terms of their architecture. The Felix Nussbaum House is right in the town centre. It owes its exceptional architecture to the world-famous American architect, Daniel Liebeskind. Art and architecture maintain an exciting dialogue here. 180 paintings and drawings are testimony to the life and work of the Osnabrück artist Felix Nussbaum. There's a close relationship between his works of art and the exceptional building accommodating them. Felix Nussbaum was born in 1904 in Osnabrück and was murdered in Auschwitz in 1944. Right next door to and closely associated with the Felix Nussbaum House is the Kulturgeschichtliche Museum of the town of Osnabrück. There's a wide range of information here on the founding, development and history of the town. This gives visitors an impression of the historical development of Osnabrück. The Dominikaner Kirche Art Hall is one of the most beautiful exhibition rooms which northern Germany has to offer. The enormous Gothic Hall Church is a unique exhibition venue for contemporary graphic arts with room displays, caricatures, sculptures and painting. The Dominican Church Art Hall becomes an international meeting place for Friends of Media Art in May each year as a result of the European Media Art Festival. The end of the Thirty Years' War was negotiated in the Town Hall, a building with a history stretching back 500 years. It took four years of protracted negotiations before the Peace of Westphalia could finally be proclaimed in 1648. The important role played by Osnabrück at that time has moved the town to take up peace as a motive and to profile itself as the town of peace. The town of Osnabrück promotes peace through culture. The sculpture Tolerance by Joachim Bandau in the center of the town shows how tolerance between peoples or materials requires balance, not to become unbalanced. The Africa and the Morgenland Festival are examples of the culture of peace. The Morgenland Festival presents musicians from the near and far east and conveys a musical image from the art in these regions of conflict. In addition to these cultural highlights, there's also civic commitment, cultural education and one of the largest cabaret festivals in Germany in the Lagerhalle. The Baroque Palace and the University are in the middle of the town centre. The architecture is reminiscent of days gone by. The dreamlike palace garden is an oasis of tranquility amongst the hustle and bustle of the town. Four splendid Romanesque and Gothic hall churches dominate the town center. They are the Cathedral, the Katharinenkirche, the Johanneskirche and the Marienkirche. Concerts and the Osnabrücker Summer Organ Festival are staged in the churches on a regular basis. Great treasures are on display in the Diocesan Museum next to the cathedral for visitors to admire. The treasures include liturgical equipment, relics and jewels of gold and precious stones of the highest artistic quality. In the direct vicinity, the Theater Osnabrück, which is also held in high regard far beyond the region, puts on exciting performances. The artistic range covers opera, operettas, musicals, dance, plays, theatrical productions for children and youngsters, plus concerts. Last season alone, there were 15 premiere performances. 
The Figuon Theater, accommodated in a half-timbered building dating from the 16th century in the old part of Osnabrück, is a special and unusual cultural venue. The Figuon Theater puts on moving stories for children and adults with a love of acting. Alternating exhibitions by young artists are put on display in a late industrial environment in the Stadtgalerie. You can relax from taking a stroll around town and look at the current exhibitions on display. A stroll through the colourful weekly market at the Dormhof is a new experience every time. Imaginative street culture awaits the visitor around the market stalls. On Saturdays in Osnabrück, musicians, artists and jugglers quickly make the visitors lose their sense of time when they're shopping. Regardless of whether hot rhythms are playing or whether it's something contemplative, Osnabrück's weekly market is something very special. There's plenty to discover in the Museum am Schölerberg. Exhibitions on environmental policy matters are put on display on 1,300 square meters. Going through a giant worm, the visitors can see the impact of mankind on life below ground level. The Museum am Schölerberg has the largest and most important exhibition on the topic of soil on display in Germany. The Museum Industriekultur shows how black gold was mined a hundred years ago in the Piesberg pit. And the little visitors in particular can try out the former crafts. This shows how Osnabrück developed from a rural center in the 18th century into an industrial town. For many decades, Osnabrück was an important transshipment and manufacturing center for the German railways. Every two years, the Dump Lockfest is staged in addition to this extract from the history of Osnabrück. Railway enthusiasts from all over Germany descend on Osnabrück to breathe new life into the myth of the steam engine by riding in trains drawn by locomotives restored to their original condition. The Bergfest, centered around the Piesberger Gesellschaftshaus, built in 1896, attracts thousands of visitors every year. Today, the former meeting place for miners is a well-known cultural center and provides a forum for musicians, actors and artists in Osnabrück. They dominate the cultural scene in Osnabrück with their ideas and commitment. One example of this is Peter Finger organizer of the international guitar festival Open Strings, staged every year. He ranks amongst the best acoustic guitarists and composers in the world and manages the Kulturzentrum Lutherhaus with a well-known recording studio. The exceptional musician from Osnabrück has been awarded a large number of prizes for his extensive commitment. Some way outside Osnabrück, right in the middle of the UNESCO Geopark Terra Vita, there is the Kalkriese Park and Museum, an archaeological attraction which has yet to meet its equal in Germany. The Kalkriese Park and Museum was set up right on the very spot where the legendary Battle of Teutoburger Wald took place in 9 AD. The excavations were conducted with a phenomenal amount of painstaking detail. The museum brings to life what was written down in history books as the Battle of Teutoburger Wald. More than 6,000 exhibits bear witness to the scale of the defeat suffered by Varus and his Roman soldiers. Osnabrück, the town of peace, a living town full of culture. The diverse range of things to do is rounded off with a large number of festivals. There is, for example, the Independent Film Festival, the Euregio Festival, the May Week or Classic Combrio, Come to Osnabrück and let yourself be surprised by the wealth of culture. <laughs>